All right, Jerry here doing a walk around of one of the most iconic race trucks ever built. I want to show off uh, the suspension on this truck. This is Ivan Stewart's Toyota Trophy truck. Uh, you can see how they did the uprights. Everything is real short back in the day. Big Himes, Uniball, billet pieces. Uh, looks like really large tubing there with the shock boss put through there. Note the geometry of how the coilovers are mounted real inboard on top and follow that line where it's pointed to the tire. So it's really good ratios there where it's pointing. So that geometry is really key. You look at the design of the upper arm going around that single front coilover. Also, as you look under, look how thin that chassis is. It's really thin. This is a single seater. So when you look down the vehicle, in the design, you can see the facade of how wide the body is just because it's basically a single seat buggy. So go imagine looking at any single seat buggy, how small and little they are. So it's really lightweight. And then all the mounting and everything that they have going on uh, to get out to the body. Also note the bump stops that they used on this vehicle. Basically, like what we did on our kinetic trucks in the beginning, uh, because you can have the shocks internally do what the bump stop does when people know how to drive the truck properly. The reason why we do the air bumps on the front is it makes it more forgiving, or if you want to really pound into things really hard, uh, it's a little bit more to catch you. So that's the front suspension there. Uh, you can note how they pivot on the inside, a little bit wider than a typical trophy truck now, not by much, uh, but it is there. You can look at, like I said, those uh, ball joint clevises that they use on these uprights and whatnot. Um, and then you go around to the back of the vehicle. Um, back, like I said, on the chassis, this is another way to look at how narrow the chassis is. Um, but when you look at the rear suspension on this vehicle, you can look at how uh, the linked rear arms are. So they have those lower arms there. They got this other link there controlling so you can actually set the toe on the back of this vehicle. Uh, so that's pretty critical on how these vehicles uh, drive straight and whatnot. So you have adjustable rear arm there. That adjustable rear arm, you look over at that rear uh, upright. So that adjustable arm, when you tighten it up or loosen it up, is gonna push that pivot out. So it'll tow it in or you can pull it back so you can shrink it and um, that'll tow it out. So that'd be like how the tire's pointing compared to the front tire. So like, um, kind of look at your steering, like towing and towing out. Uh, exhaust out the back here. Transmission out the back, how it's um, raised up there. Very, very lightweight, single shock. Another one of those rubber bump stops up on top there see how the back of this vehicle doesn't really have a lot of droop it's mainly set up for the compression uh, but how that would arc there so quite a bit of compression wheel travel on the back of this thing as you can see also interesting how it's this big long single rate springs so very cool very innovative especially at the time all the work that went into this thing with all the custom parts and machining uh, when you look at these trucks unskinned, which I have, there's there's multiples of this truck. So there's different ways this truck's been built. Um, it's very, very interesting how they did things. A lot of one-off pieces and parts to do what they're doing. So if you look at like the rear, rear hub setup that they have there on the caps. Very iconic vehicle here. Very cool to see. Ivan Stewart's Toyota Trophy truck. Suspension.